Okay, today we're going to talk about how do we obtain the state space uh, models using the um, bone graph models. How do we state the state space? How we obtain the state space equations automatically? Okay, so Luis, um, we go over here to the um, to this uh, model that we have. This is your vehicle and this is the bone graph model here. So let's start over here after we have just uh, completed the bone graph model of this and then we are going to uh, build the uh, uh, first of all let's put this bone graph model into the CAMG software and then let's go from there on how we are going to obtain the state space uh, model using the program okay so here we go uh, we are going to go to this and what we're going to be doing is uh, I need to move, let's say this is going to be a new and let's just uh, put our notes uh, uh, in here so that we we have it next to us okay so how about that? Yeah, I think this will be plenty of a space to do. So le let me uh, turn this on for you. And then we have this. Uh, uh, very good. We have. <coughs> we, we need this uh, on the right hand side, uh, perhaps a little bit more than what we have right now there we go and then we'll move this one so we have a space to work right now okay so uh, we go over here and turn this ones off okay In here, I um, I have one that uh, we could just uh, put the one junction over here. No, I think we need the SF, and then we have this one, and I think this we call it number one. According to, I'm just gonna be drawing the. Um, the bond graph model the way it is on the left hand side so we get the same thing so if I in the order in which I do things the computer will also do the bond numbers so that's why I'm doing it this way and then you have the C over here huh okay I'll try to uh, speak up a little louder because uh, we don't have the um, the speaker going on with the lab, but uh, let's just, I'll, I'll try to speak a little louder, okay, so here we have, we have this, um, in here we, uh, I'm, I'm just transferring the bone graph model that we have on the left hand side to the one on the right, so this would be seven in here, do you see number eight is over here, and then we have uh, number nine is up here. So this is this is the bond graph model that we analyzed before how we produce this, right? So this is uh, I'm just basically translating what we would have uh, on paper to what we have on the computer. So there we go. In here we are almost done. We are only left to do the C element over here, and then you have this um, R element uh, over here, and we are done. Okay, so now what we have basically is we have our computer model into the Camp G software. The next thing we're going to do is to go to MATLAB and have these two programs talk to each other 
and uh, here we go. They negotiate an interface between those two, and so now we are going to see uh, what what MATLAB is going to do. Let's just close this one, and uh, we have our notes over here. And uh, now we need to pay close attention to those files that CAMG produces. Uh, which are the files that represent this model. So my is coming up and so we have this uh, uh, see it's taking a little while I think we'll produce we'll see model uh, there it goes. okay so let, let's just make this um, is some with some bigger letters that you can see really good. So this is going to be the bolt, and then I'm going to do this number 18, and then there we go. This one you already know. This is where we put the initial conditions, the parameters, that whole thing. This file here, the second one, the CAMG EQU, look, they are the equations that I told you about. But in this case, you're going to have four equations. You're going to have this one, you're going to have that one, you're going to have this one, and you're going to have this one. Now on the third file in here, you see in here the computer produced those equations in the Cauchy form. One, two, three <coughs> and four right here see so what happens is in this file in this symbolic file you not only get this Cauchy form of the equations but the computer automatically will produce the state space form how does that work Look, here we go. Here. This is my MATLAB form. I am going to go to to this part where it says debug and just run it. Look what's going to happen in the MATLAB side. Computer says you have this is your 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 input. It tells you the state variables vectors and in in uh, in this order it gives you the A matrix right there. And I like the one formula and then <coughs> debug. Yeah, and, and then, then the C matrix, it doesn't know what to do because we did not define the outputs, right? Not yet. So, so we, we, um, we need to, uh, I mean, this illustrates that it produced those uh, that state space form for you. So what I would do is I would just go back and now I want to define the outputs. Now let's go back to the bone graph model to uh, make sure what outputs we want. Let's say as an example. Let's say that we want the, the force on him, the, on the seat belt. What variable is over here on that? That is e, E13, right? No. What is the force? No, 10, E10. Uh, yeah, that's the force acting on him. And you could also um, find out the, the velocity or, or let's see. See, F12 would be the, str uh, the, um, the velocity be the relative velocity of the seat belt between the car and him. So let's just, just as an example, E10 and F12 are going to be our our stable is our output variables. So I go to the binocular here, type E10, and the computer has one set of equations for E10 which already are done for you. You need just need to activate this and say 
this is my first output is e sub 10 output number one and then you have a, this is a one in here this is a one over here and then we have what was the second one what do you say we, we binoculars f12 right why'd you put the one in huh why'd you put the one in because it's the first the first output it needs to do one row two rows three rows right that's why i put the one and this is the second one in here do you see in here also activate this three and this is going to be output number two right here and then this is going to be a two here okay <coughs> then once we have done this you go again and and you say debug and then save this file and run what what's going to happen here is your your um, inputs in here your state space vector and here you, we name it uh, two is going to be first so this is the a matrix right here and this is the b this is the c matrix in here and that's the d matrix and that's all is the lab asking you to do so what you are you are to do for filing your report is doing exactly what I just did you don't have to write the, the equations by hand like that and you don't have to transform by hand those equations into the matrices like I did I did that just so that you understand how it, how what the computer does, but this is the A matrix, and uh, you can see there's the B matrix, the C matrix, and the D, <laughs> and that's all the lab is asking you to do. Yes. So is this the same lab as the mm -hmm. well, we'll we'll talk about it in a second. Um, yeah. Any questions about how to produce the state space? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. His question is, can you show me how this? All I did to this file, to this third file, is I went here to debug and say run. When I say run, oops, I need to I need to click on uh, Control C first. I when I say run, it, it, this is what it gives me. Gives you the A matrix the B and the C and the D <laughs> and that is the um, that is the